Before you reach for a pill to help fix what ails you, it might be better to reach for your gym gear. Research shows that for some conditions, exercise might work as well as drugs and surgery and with fewer side effects. Consumer Reports has advice on how to get the disease-fighting benefits of exercise. Here's our Leah Linshad. When Sandra Wingate discovered she had dangerously high blood sugar last year, type 2 diabetes, her doctor prescribed dietary changes, medication, and regular exercise. If I keep in with exercise and the diet changes, I will be off medication in a few months. In fact, a study in the Journal of the American Medical Association found nearly one in 10 participants were able to give up diabetes medication altogether. That after two years on a program that included exercise and dietary changes. Exercise has also been shown to be a very effective tool against other chronic conditions. For chronic lower back pain, new guidelines from the American College of Physicians say you should try non-drug therapies, including exercise, before you pop a pill. For those with arthritis, weight training can build muscle strength, thereby reducing pressure on joints and improving stability. But it's important to learn how to use weights correctly from a certified trainer or a physical therapist to avoid worsening joint pain. Strength training can help people with diabetes, too. The more muscle you have, the less likely you are to store extra glucose as fat. Consumer Report says it's also important for those with diabetes to have some food before working out. And those on insulin should discuss the best time to exercise with their doctor. Both steps could help avoid a potentially dangerous drop in blood sugar. For WISC News 3, this is Leah Lynchide. Thanks, Leah. And if your ailment is back pain, Consumer Reports is going to have an in-depth report on all as aspects of back pain in his June issue. It's a very common problem. For instance, is bed rest the right approach or is medication better for that? And what are the top non-drug therapies that actually work? We'll talk about that coming up in future Consumer Reports.